What's going on guys, Ben Axe here, welcome back to the channel. Exciting news today, brand new update just dropped. World War Z Against All Odds update, a free update for everybody. Huge hordes, new mutators for horde mode, play as any survivor in any episode, new premium and bonus weapon skins, etc. Now I want to jump into the patch notes because there are some important things that we need to talk about here before you guys jump in just to kind of get a feel of what's coming in this update that just dropped. Now, as previously mentioned, the name of the update is Against All Odds, and it's update on consoles and PC. We have huge hordes of Zeeks are amassing within New York and Jerusalem on Horde Mode Z, so Horde Mode now has two new places, New York and Jerusalem. There's new mutators in Horde Mode Challenge Mode. Play as any survivor that you want on any episode in the campaign. There's now premium and bonus weapon skins that you can get, and I have a video on that, guys. Make sure to check that out if you haven't already. PlayStation 5 now has DualSense controller support. And it says to join over 20 million survivors and experience more Zeeks than you ever could imagine. Now here's the real patch notes. New free content. New horde mode maps. Seven new mutators for horde challenge mode. You can play as any new episode characters that you want. The new weapon baton. If you haven't seen that guys, check out my other video that I posted about the leaks. And I'll make sure to make a video on the baton later today. Kind of seeing how good it is with the slasher class and things like that, etc. Now we have the new premium content, which is the Deadly Vice Weapon Skin Pack and the Rat Packs Weapon Skin Bundle, which those both look pretty decent. I think my favorite, though, would be the Deadly Vice Weapon Skin Pack. If you haven't seen that, check that one out. Now, general, some of the patch fixes here that we note for the notes is you can now fight rats using melee, something you couldn't do before because they immediately knock you down. You can apparently melee them now. I have not tried that out. Here's to see what that does. I don't think it's probably something really suggestible, but try it out. See what happens. AI can now carry heavy weapons, and AI can now use melee finishers. Various gameplay bug fixes, fix a crash on game startup on some AMD GPUs, fix freezing while shotgun fiesta and crossbow fiesta mutators are activated, fix issues with weapon perks for drone class, fix infinite shots from RPG weapon with exterminator class, the DLC icon for the golden assault rifle has a different color now, fix the issue with weapons not getting XP after completing an episode, fix issue when flying high perk makes the M79 appear as silence in the GUI, Fix an issue with M79 grenade launcher can't get XP points for killing enemies. Fix when some primary weapons can't be obtained after a tier 3 upgrade in horde mode. Fix reparation perks and how to obtain it. Fix when the resupply command has no sound. And random character functionality now works as intended. For PC, they added the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.1 support. They added PlayStation 5 DualSense support. Works with Windows 10 and 11. They added haptic feedback for sprinting and when you hold down for actions. As well as adaptive trigger support for firearms. As for PlayStation 5, same thing, dual sense support, haptic feedback, and adaptive trigger supports for firearms. Pretty nice update. Came out of nowhere. No media, no trailers or anything until today. Excited to get into that. Do you guys think I should live stream it? Let me know by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. And seeing you guys tonight on live if this video does pretty well. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.